Hello and welcome back to yet another uh, series of Divinity Original Sins 2, the definitive edition. My name is Saiken and we're going to continue this beautiful run. We're playing Honor Mode uh, Plus, which is a more difficult version of Honor Mode where all of the enemies are being skilled up by two levels. No, they are matching our level and then they are even scaled up by two additional levels so every single enemy is as hard as a boss would be from its pure skills they also gain uh, quite a few extra skills so next enemy on the line is going to be a hound master or magister hound master right back here an easy way of dealing with this unpleasant fellow is by sending in a single person and essentially making sure uh, that that person gets out of there as quick as possible. Ifan is going to be our bait. Essentially joining the fight immediately and you can see although Ifan is our tank has a whooping 121 hit points by now and since he is fully buffed he has on top of that a hundred armor you just take a quick look at the hound master here with level 7 as an elite he has almost 400 hit points plus around uh, 250 uh, physical armor so we're looking pretty old in co uh, comparison to him what we're going to do is we're charging our way out of here, avoiding attacks of opportunity as we go. And just before the um, turn is over, I almost forgot to prepare the battlefield. Just before the turn is over, we're going to rebuff and good. The reason why there is so much water on the ground is we're going to turn all of this water into fire very very soon. Um, being still out of combat lows uh, uh, will use the moment to just summon up an incarnate. Good. We're buffing it fully. It's going to be a tough fight, but with the right positioning we should be fine. And we're going to put in the last bit of rain back here. So now everything, the entire floor is covered in water. That's exactly what we wanted to achieve. Let's really quickly make sure that everyone up here is also standing in water. Good. That's been so far important as once we're put it, uh, changing it <clears throat> into into poison and then uh, afterwards into fire, um, we want to essentially stand in it. As follows, I think we're fine with the skills. Might as well trade the rain uh, for one offensive uh, Winter Blast skill. And yep, we can jump into the combat. Good. So that was enough preparation. Ethan here is just going to go out of uh, range because I can assure you very soon it's going to be really, really unpleasant and we want to make sure that we're pulling all of them really 
and funneling them through this little funnel here. Can we already hit him? No, we can't. Good. Still need to wait a bit. In the meantime, Ethan starts somewhat softening up uh, the Houndmaster before afterwards going back into cover. Good. Los could join the fight. Let's see. Path is interrupted. No, that wouldn't work. Shocking arrow, however, would work. And I think we're going to do that. Hmm. It will also start uh, to electrify most of the water here. Good, now that Seville uh, is in combat, we're going to uh, buffer up. There we go, back into combat. Ending the Incarnate's turn. And now all of them should slowly but surely start moving into our direction. Alright, the Incarnate just died, which means it's a perfect time to resummon. Very soon everyone will be dragged into combat, so it's not going to last for, uh, for any time longer. Can't really hit anyone back here. That's a shame. No, still too far away. Okay. It's Sibyl's turn. Let's start by already dealing as much damage as possible here. Nice little critical hit, by the way. An equally leveled bow actually deals quite a lot of damage from a high ground position.
All right. So now everyone is in combat. And the Houndmaster is in a very exposed position. Let's start to backstep him. And since we want the other um, enemies also to come a little bit closer, actually going to just move over here. Good, in terms of dealing with the Houndmaster, Um, how are we going to do that? Yeah, we could simply continue to, to deal magical damage and just ignore his physical armor for now. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. That was a miss, unfortunately. Let's get some water arrows going. Kind of a compromise. Yeah, I missed him twice there. Good, they will now start moving in. But very soon it's going to be Saiken's turn. And then this here is going to change quite dramatically. We're going to hold off with uh, summoning an incarnate just a tiny bit longer. Instead, since it's the last Time that we can do it. Let's use the uh, only frost skill that we do have, which will make uh, their advancement even more difficult. And we're going to save the last point, the last action point. Now we can finally start uh, changing. So everything is going to change quite rapidly. And as you can see, that also means we uh, have a way easier time dealing with um, fire spells. Love it. Good, three hits, and that's a beautiful Ignite. We don't want to yet use our uh, teleportation. We can wait until we really need it. For now, the Houndmaster isn't doing much. And instead, we can put an Incarnate right in front of his nose, plus regain some of the lost um, magic over there. Nice little fireball. Oh, holy, holy smokes, that was a lot of damage.
All right, just because we can, let's take him out for one round. The Magister still has a lot of armor, so we're instead going to use Poison Flask, continuing uh, the burning effect, and no one needs healing, so end of turn. There we go. Really solid shot. I think the dog also died right over here. Unfortunately, the pillar is in the way, otherwise we could hit either of them. Yeah, we just need to wait until they move up. This guy here is sleeping, so I really don't want to awake him. Hmm. But I also don't want to waste our ability points, uh, our action points. Nope, can't reach him. That is too bad. Could we hit an AoE arrow over here? Yes, we can. There we go. We'll take the two other ability points for next round. All right, let's start hitting this guy. Can't fully hit him with a mosquito swarm. certainly can hit him with everything else. Creating a few totems. And Losa will make sure that everyone continues to have enough magical armor to stand in the fire. Good, now they need to move, and you can see through the movement that they take a lot of damage just through by moving through here. We would still take damage uh, if we were to charge through. What we could do though is... Mm. Like I said, we would still take damage. Um, can't fully reach him. This here is a double-edged sword. Because it will remove the burning ground. Probably not the worst idea to have a little bit of um, of maneuverability. Only two more archers left. 
Gosh, she deals a lot of damage. That's she hits for 70. Wow. More than that even. Slowed and entangled, which means the, that this archer here can't move for now. Good, we can move over here, critically hit him, and you know what? That actually should have hit him and to, uh, take um, caused atrophy. Well, it doesn't matter. He's dead now. All right, let's heal up just a little bit more and create some more totems. Never mind, we're already done. Well, that was easier than I um, have expected it. Specifically, Sibyl with her bow. Done an incredible amount of damage. Nice boots, by the way. So it's probably going to be Sibyl's. Yeah. There we go. Couple of essences, good. All of that is fine. Let's save Delorius here. By helping him, he's not only uh, he he not only is going to help us in the future. He also gave us some experience. Here's another oil barrel in case you missed the ones uh, beforehand. And finally. There's a nice uh, pendant here. Good. So this should solve all of uh, the issues here. I think we can't uh, move up here. No, we can't. Good. Um, that's really it. Let's move back to the square. The only other fight uh, that is left over is the arena. And looking at the uh, time of the video, I think we're just doing it in the next episode, to be honest. Uh, so the arena battle... Um, is an interesting fight as well. Afterwards, we can finally go and start clearing the castle. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the run, leave a comment down below or hit the like button. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.